and I know you, you've been in this place for a little while with your spirituality, um, where well, you bring that up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Where you've sort of, you've, <laughs> you've circled back to a couple of things or maybe reintroduced, you know, this idea. And I think that you're able to do that because of your, your ability to remain teachable, mm. you know? And I think for me, like it's, it's something that I'm seeing in some of the people that I'm working with, um, you know, just that thirst for knowledge, that uh, that openness, that willingness, and, and all that comes with it, and so um, it's it's worth talking about. It's a very important element to me and in, in my life and my recovery today, and so it's definitely something worth discussing. Sure, yeah, and it, it, it raises the question of you know what is what does teachable look like, right? Like what do you what do I mean when I'm going into uh, work with another guy in sobriety, a, fre- a freshie, you know, somebody brand new, freshie. brand new to the concept of sobriety, right? Like, like what does teachable look like? What do I see somebody? How do I know that they're, that they're teachable or coachable or, or they're even willing to take on this process? Because one of the things that was, was done for me was that another person took time out of their life to teach me what they were taught. Right. And, and Mike, that's so important. You know, I heard, I heard somebody talk the other day and it it just struck me so deeply and it's something so simple that I I never really thought about, you know, like with the podcast, you know, what we're doing here with this message and, and in sobriety, when we go to a meeting and we share our experience, the hope is to get someone to, to grab a hold of that, right. Mm -hmm. To, to have the seed planted, say something that they can resonate with. That, that opens them up to a new concept of life. And the hope is, and we say it all the time, but I don't know how much emphasis we put behind it, you know, if we reach one person, right? If we reach one person, then it was worth it, right? But when I put myself in the position of being that one person, like I'm one person, and somebody reached out and changed my life. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You're one person, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so when I put it in that context, like, wow, it becomes so much more relatable, right? Like, yes. And that, when I, when I do that and I can put myself in the position of being that one person that's receiving the gift of the message, that in turn, like, I can flip that around and go, okay, this one person really is super important. To, to teach. And so what does that look like if it's worth me taking all the stuff that I was taught, right? And giving that to another person, mm-hmm. right? How do I know that that person's receiving it, that they even want it, right? Because as a teacher, you look for somebody that's teachable. And as a student, you try to remain teachable, mm-hmm. right? So you look for, um, you look for mentors or teachers or inspirational beings around you right and so like it just flows from one person to the next but when i'm looking at a new guy you know open-mindedness is a big one right so so we go in and we start sharing these concepts and and i look for a person that isn't making excuses right off the bat right Mm -hmm. and then when i'm being taught i have to check myself and say am I making excuses for this to not work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like, right. And so like, there's that, there's that habitual, like distrust mm-hmm. from our addiction out there. And I really want to be able to like, let all that go. Like you were talking about early on, mm-hmm. let go of the trust or, or the, the mistrust, let go of the doubt, let go of the fear, let go of the absolute certainty that this isn't going to work for me and open up to a new idea that perhaps what this person's telling me could work. Mm -hmm. Right. And so being teachable is a great demonstration of humility. Right. 